Great example, Cesar, and uh, I apologize, I'm having some camera issues. Uh, interesting to see both more traditional and more cutting edge outcomes uh, for architect that architectural visualization can help, bring to, can help bring to fruition. So let's get into the details. How does Revit support customers who view visualization as essential in achieving design and business outcomes? Yeah, to best respond to your question, David, I'm going to make use of a project that embodies how Revit is used to represent visual and project data. Vista 75 is a five acre private residential compound developed by Esfera Inversiones in El Salvador. The project comprises 27 townhouses, 124 apartments distributed in four towers and connected by a circulation loop. Designed by locally renowned architect Juan Jose Rodriguez and executive architect Leon Sol, the project amenities include a playground, a clubhouse, a sport fields, an ecological park, and dedicated parking spaces. Located in El Salvador, this project sits in the northern part of San Salvador, the country capital, flanked on one side by the sprawling urban city boundaries, and on the other side by the San Salvador volcano, a protected national ecological region. The site provides one of the last remaining development spots where users can enjoy both the proximity to urban amenities and the benefits of living in the midst of a rainforest. Using Revit, the design team was able to develop an intelligent set of models that centralized the information about the project in a single repository. The team integrated multidisciplinary data from consultants to create a digital representation of the project, all managed in Autodesk Docs our cloud platform-based data environment that provide document management and control of the information to the entire project team. The adoption of BEAM for this project allowed the team to reduce errors and rework, streamline design review, and distribute information to stakeholders anytime, anywhere. For the design of the townhouses, the designers turned to the market to find the demand of the personas and came up with this flexible design solution. The plan layout provided alternate space programs in anticipation to the buyer needs. Customers were given choices that fit their budget and their lifestyles. The design team also used Revit design options using the same central file, allowing them to keep a tight control on the selection of finishes and materials. Very interesting, Cesar. And, and Vista is certainly an impressive looking project. So we can see how visualization is important in the packaging of a project in the advanced stages of design. As you've shown here, it allows an architectural client to present interior design options, for example, in a highly visual way. But I'm curious, can you provide us more color on how the specific tools and capabilities of Revit support specific stages of an architectural design project and BIM process, not just the final results? Yeah, Revit is packed with features and capabilities that support your visualization needs across the design cycle. Includes tools to communicate conceptual design, visual means to review your design, analytical views to simulate environmental analysis, and various ways to create high photorealistic representation. Uh, for those who are new to Revit, let's take a look at some of these capabilities before we jump into twin motion. For conceptual massing, the mass environment in Revit allows you to explore conceptual design using solid shapes, represented volumes. In this image, Jose Garcia rendered mass floors on semi-transparent shapes to convey a conceptual idea of a building. This is a simple example, yet very powerful, to easily uh, display early design studies. Phasing. Revit helps you visualize projects stage over time and assign facing graphic overrides to existing and new elements. Facing requirements translate to visualization outputs, making it easier for stakeholders to understand what is included and what's not in the scope of work. Design options. Use design options to explore alternate designs in a single Revit model. As I mentioned earlier, the designers at Vista 75 
created a townhouse design with adaptable interior spaces using design options. The adaptable interior layouts align to the needs of different target personas, including single professionals, married couples, and families with children. Design options allow the design team to model multiple interior design configurations within the same file. Using the out-of-the-box rendering capabilities, the design team was able to render conceptual interior environments offered to specific market segments. Integration with format. For some of you already know this, but for those who didn't know, iterative conceptual design is greatly facilitated by new interoperability enhancement between Revit and Formit. Formit allows designers to use a fluid, dynamic modeling environment for design and exploration. In Vista 75, the design team used a new 3D sketch functionality, which allowed designers to launch a Formit session from Revit, translate Revit elements for, as a context geometry into Formit, and link Formit design studies into Revit. The textures and materials are preserved in both platforms in this round trip workflow, making it easier to preserve the rendering outputs in both uh, softwares. Visual styles. You all, most of you know this, but the various visual styles in Revit can be selectively used for different purposes. For quality control of the design, hidden and shaded views provide a very easy performance friendly environment to execute visual checks or finishes and furnishing reviews. Realistic views allow you to validate material selection and for high for realistic output out of the box uh, options include local and cloud ray tracing rendering in addition to a variety of third party developers who have uh, uh, created uh, packages for high realistic visualization. Here is an example of a shaded crop view in Revit used as a simple and effective visualization technique to facilitate internal coordination review. This is a crop shaded view of the, one of the towers in Vista 75, which allows you to detect design issues before the construction starts. Uh, sunlight, solar, and illumination studies. These are built-in capabilities in Revit to evaluate light performance in building. Illuminance studies created by our cloud rendering service provide a really quick way to understand the illumination patterns in space through daylighting and artificial light sources. Physically based materials with continued enhancements of realistic views. Uh, Revit now support physically based materials. Uh, Revit provide these capabilities to render a scene with light behavior just as if they were in the real world. The materials created, designed, and scheduled in Revit would be typically preserved when the scene is moved to other third parties rendering engines, including Twinmotion, making it easier to preserve material selection in the same authoring environment. Virtual reality. Revit offers now an expand capability to create immersive experience in virtual reality. With our integration with Twinmotion, Revit make it easier to convert beam data into real life immersive reality experiences. Using VR devices like Oculus Quest or the HTC Vive, and users could teleport inside the design and secure stakeholder approval, make material selections on the fly, perform constructability reviews, or experience virtual walkthroughs. The wow factor associated with virtual experiences far exceeds that of any traditional means of representation. I just described a few of the Revit core capabilities that will enable you to meet your visualization goals to any level. Let's now move to the part of the presentation everyone is waiting for and discuss how you can get started with Twinmotion and Revit. Back to you, David. Thank you, Cesar. Oh, look, video is back. I'm glad to see it. All right. Um...